Well, good morning and welcome to day four of our OBC Prayer Week. I want to thank you again for agreeing to be part of this special week as we take some focused time to pray for the needs of different groups. Today, we're going to focus our prayers on our community of Springfield. And we want to pray for our, our neighbors, for our community leaders, for local businesses, as well as for the other churches in the Springfield area. Our scripture this morning is going to be read by Tim, and our devotional is going to be read by Lynn. Good morning. Our reading today is from John 20, 11 to 18. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over and looked into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and one at the other, the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. I don't know where they have put him. At this she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking that he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that, she, that he had said these things to her. This morning's devotional, Foundational Praying by Joni Yoder. It was a sunny, sad day in 1982, the day after my husband's funeral. I had gone alone to Bill's grave, hardly knowing why. As with Mary Magdalene, who visited Jesus' tomb, the risen Lord was waiting for me. He impressed the words of Philippians 1.21 on my vacant mind, still numbed by Bill's untimely cancer death. I wove my prayer around the words of that verse. Lord, how often I've heard Bill testify, for to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Well, your servant has now died, an untold loss for us, an unspeakable gain for him. I know, Lord, that I too will die someday and enter that gain. But right now, I'm still alive. I know I must not live in the past, precious as it is, for me to live is you. As I turned to leave, I knew I had prayed a foundational prayer. Much recovery and rebuilding lay before me, but beneath me was the only firm foundation on which to build, Jesus Christ. Has a loved one's death or the fear of your own death tested your foundation? Let Paul's words, written in the face of death, and Jesus' words to Mary, encourage you to offer a foundational prayer of your own. Then begin to rebuild on the risen Christ. As mentioned earlier, our specific prayer focus for today is going to be for the community of Springfield. We understand that there is an awful lot that could really be encompassed in that. This is really an opportunity for you to pray for your neighbors, for our community leaders, for our schools, for our teachers, for our seniors' homes, and anything else that the Lord might bring to mind. This is also an opportunity for us to pray for the other churches within our community. As so much around us is slowly starting to reopen again, it's also a good reminder for us to be praying for safety and for wisdom as our leaders continue to navigate some of the decisions that still need to be made in the weeks and months to come. In your guides, you will see some helpful prayer requests that we hope will help to get you started. But as you pray, please feel free to go off script, so to speak, as the Lord brings different things and different people to mind. 
Thank you again for your ongoing prayers as we journey together this week. We pray that the Lord will, will speak to you and challenge you and encourage you as you pray for the needs of our community today.